It's Bob and Tom Tonight, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby, Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Tom Griswold. May 25, 2021, of course, we're all excited getting ready for Josh and his family reunion. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Of sorts. Mm, yeah. They're going to be out on his mother's yacht. No, no. At the Lake of the Ozarks. <laughs> well, she's rich, isn't she? Well, she's married to a man named Rich. Oh, but, uh, oh I'm not, sorry. I'm sorry. Not Rick's. In the open. How that taste, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Pat Godwin. Love you, Chick. Hi, Christy Lee. Hi, Chick. Always get by. Hi, Josh. Hey, Chick. Ace, was it? Chick. Hey, there he is. And Wilbur. Chick. Willie Griswold. I forgot to get you a key about his skill set. Tom? Uh, welcome back to the program. Thanks very much for joining us. Opened up with uh, Nick Griffin, one of my favorites, uh, pointing out that Einstein uh, was divorced. Who knew? Mm -hmm. And if you think you're smarter than Einstein, well, they could, they could uh, go ahead. Uh, the point is, we do have some actual Einstein MC. Uh, what was it? MC, MC squared. squared. What is it? E equals Can MC I tell squared? you, e which I MC. never understood e that, that I didn't know that Einstein had been divorced uh, until after my second divorce. <laughs> I had no idea. I oh. didn't know Einstein had been divorced till Nick Griffin told me. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a, it's a, it's a true fact. Yeah, that's uh, absolutely but, but true. we have some interesting Einstein news coming up. Uh, not exactly breaking, um, but uh, news nonetheless. Uh, we do have a lot of other things coming up, uh, including a lot of alligator news. Kind of a new thing we got going. A world record. David yeah, Rush, yeah, once yeah. again. Super, mm -hmm. super. Uh, yeah, uh, still uh, still a uh, community of a cicada deniers at the compound. No cicadas. Uh, uh, I don't know if you... Are you idiots? Uh, okay. Did I don't you, know. Did you have your windows down when you left yesterday? No, I didn't hear anything. I don't know what are you're Are you kidding about. me? I, and if you did hear something, it's once again from outer space, and they're, they're shooting a beam <laughs> It out sounded it. like it was from I outer space. I ain't it. Um, hoax, go, hoax. Uh, go online and Google um, cicadas in Maryland. There are places where it looks like snow. There are so many there right now. So oh, right where the check local is. listings, and it only affects hmm. about, I don't know less than half the country. I was on a walk yesterday, check, yeah. and I could kind of hear something. Uh -huh. I could hear it a little bit, and I go, maybe I'll check out one of these trees, see if one of these trees <laughs> any cicadas. And I look, cicada party on the tree. Uh, is that right? Really? Yeah, there was a cicada. He was a bouncer at the bottom. He was letting them in. There was a line. Sure. We have some uh, cicada club. sound. It hasn't gotten real bad where I live yet, but uh, there are a lot of them. But they're not making. I guess they don't sing for five days or something. Is this recorded yes. from uh, your home? Uh, no, there's not any sound in my house. Have you not heard them at all? It's, very, very light. I think, ask the girls. I think this might be an age thing. Oh, I think it's a frequency I don't get. Yeah. Uh, there there are many frequencies be. I don't get. Uh, typically, any time Ace speaks, there's nothing I hear. I, I don't uh, get. Uh, oh, that's not nice. It's not, wow. it's not Ace. It's uh, our age. We can't. We don't get. <laughs> <laughs> Just the opposite is true. Every word that comes out of Ace is funny because he, of course, is the proprietor. Are you kidding? It's the Omaha Steaks joke of the day starring Ace Cosby. Yeah, it is. And boy, could I go for yeah, yeah, it is. I could go for an Omaha Steak right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A little early morning uh, we grilling had action. Eggs, uh, we had the Omaha Steak Sunday morning. I don't know. It was, it was, it was, it was gorgeous. Well, uh, aren't you rich? I think it's, oh, I think it's time for... I think it's time for... <laughs> they send it to me to say good things. Here. They've, all, they've got all these uh, things in the news. The latest thing is they're trying to do, what is it, cold water washing? Is the latest thing? That yeah, I've always push. done that. Well, I, 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 don't, I don't. I well, we wash know and you boil the hottest water humanly possible. <laughs> I'd love to see a campaign more steak and eggs. Yeah. Okay. I just make that a big thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, now, we did have cake last night at my house, of course. It of was, course, it was uh, quarter birthday. My daughter Hart's quarter birthday. Oh, no good. Uh, why not the eighth birthday? Why not the 16th birthday? Why don't you do why it not? every month? Why don't you give her a cake every well, day? I, made, I, made, I, I'm embarrassed to be sitting here with people that are anti-cake. I'm not anti-cake. No, I'm anti-spoil. Anti I'm anti if, I'm every, if, if, there's, if, if there's an organization for dysfunctional adults that had a rough childhood, I'd like to be in, in somewhere in that. That, uh, yeah. uh, organizing board, I would think. Did and you that's get cakes from your mom when you were a kid? <laughs> <laughs> On my birthday. Um, I think I had a... I can't remember. I think I, my birthday is more or less Thanksgiving Day. Yeah. So I got a turgy and a cake one time by my from my grandmother. From your, and there's a picture of that. And I, I, got, I got, seen that. I have yeah. a bunch once. of pictures. Once. Yeah. Once. once. 
wiener face. I was going to be mad that you didn't call me over for any quarter birthday cake, but it's quarter birthday, so only celebrate with quarter of your family. Those are the rules. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, man. It just makes good sense. <laughs> There's six of us out. Um, yeah, right. I was not aware. I, I knew it was coming up, and I'd been re- I was really busy yesterday, and by the time I got mm-hmm. home, and it, it was a fait accompli, so, uh, but I... Mm. Wait a minute. You had a busy day yesterday? <laughs> yes, Mr. Godwin and I are You're working on guys? something. We spent uh, hours together. We were yeah, doing I it. Bet you doing are. it all day yesterday. Um, now, um, uh, I, I will point out that Mr. Godwin is sitting in a special space. It's the it's the Oxford Gold Performance Room. We've got some good stuff coming up today, Pat. I hope so. Very happy with all of them. <laughs> today is National Wine Day, so... <laughs> I don't like <laughs> wine. That What's your favorite wine, wine guys? Mm, I'm cold. <laughs> <laughs> That goes good. It's not even. <laughs> this wine isn't cold enough. But right now we've um, somewhat al- we alluded to sports to a degree here this morning. Um, anything of interest over there, my friend? Uh, wide receiver Julio Jones says he's ready to leave Atlanta. Oh, Atlanta! The 32-year-old star told uh, host Shannon Sharp, "Yes, he's still in uh, media. Everybody on Fox Sports One." Uh, there are conflicting stories about what happened. Julio, the first story I saw was Julio just thought he was calling Shannon Sharp as like, hey, how's it going? Oh, no kidding. So he, I don't know if Julio knew he was being recorded for a rebroadcast. Oh, so I don't know if he's going to, but the comments are already out there. So there's, you know, the old uh, barn after the cows on Arses fire or something. Or, yeah. Right. yeah. Um, it, Sh- Sharp asked him, uh, how about Atlanta? Are you going to stay? And Julio said, matter of factly, no, nah, man, I'm out of here. And then uh, Sharp asked him, how about the Dallas Cowboys? Would you go to Dallas? And he said, no, nah, I want to go where I can win. Ooh. And, yeah, he might. There are several teams. Patriots evidently fit the best for him because he's got like a $15 million salary. Uh, the Colts might look at him for a leader for that young group. So we'll, we'll see what happens. No, nah, man, I'm out of here about the Atlanta Five. We'll have to ask Kostagi about that. So he calls a media guy and wasn't sure he was going to be broadcast. Well, it'd be like me calling... You know, whoever. Yeah, well, and like I mean, you, you're supposed to tell somebody. if you're Yeah, you sure, are supposed yeah, yeah, to right. tell somebody. Well, but the exception to that is if, these, these guys, if you, you know call, if you phone, say, a radio station, um, they don't have to tell you that you're on the air. What? Whoa, 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 whoa what? What? I, yeah. I didn't know that. Sure. Yeah. I didn't know that either. Yep. Hmm. So huh. you take responsibility for the, you called them. So whatever yeah. happens is your pro- your fault. You call a radio station, they can put you on the air. I don't think Weird. So. I don't I mean, I I call to get my customer service for my vacuum. They tell me I'm being recorded. Yeah. So That's right. Being broadcast. Although I'd love True. to hear that. True. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think, like I, I think, no, no. I think where he's going is, let me guess. My balls can, are stuck. <laughs> you, can, you can correct me if I'm wrong. But the thing Josh picks up, and it, the food on the floor. <laughs> oh, yeah. Clogging up his yeah. has to put up with. Uh, sir. The, <laughs> it's another egg roll. You know, we stuff know, like yeah, that. I know it's, it's been six weeks, sir. <laughs> we, yes, we're servicing, stuck we're in servicing the vacuum. But there, there appears to be uh, a, a lot, a lot of people. Pizza cheese in this bag. Pizza <laughs> cheese. There and and there. So which is. do I eat all the food or do I oh, throw it in the ground? Uh, I mean, <laughs> at least you, let's get the story. You, you have standards. Which, yeah. Once it hits the ground, it's that's where it's going to stay. Oh. And <laughs> fifteen minute rule. <laughs> you know there are some people that believe in the five second rule. Yeah. After it's been on the floor, it's okay no matter what, even it, for a second. It depends what the food is. If it's lobster, no, it's if it, if it's lo- lobster yeah, there you got yeah. the three minute rule. If it hits the floor, I ain't eating it. All right. Well, that's, that's your that's choice. Common sense. Wait a minute. We have a different opinion over here. Are you <laughs> saying? I've done that. Five second rule. Sure. Absolutely. What? Five second rule. You, you don't. Uh, if you drop something on the floor, you, no matter what, you so won't you pick drop it up your and, food and you just let it go. I let it go. The girls get. You mean the you dogs. don't get down on the floor with a spoon and finish your soup? <laughs> <laughs> you don't get a curly straw. <laughs> you drop your peanut butter jelly sandwich on the floor. Oh, five second rule. I microwave it for three seconds. <laughs> Kill whatever got on. Well, it, it depends. Does it land peanut yeah. butter down? I'm going to say yes. Mm. You still oh. eat it? Five second rule? Oh, yeah. peanut butter down? Like onto like the you're, you're, you've got on the ha- floor? You've got it no, half no. made. No, no, no. no, no, no. no. I depube it and eat away. No, oh, no, oh, no, I wouldn't do that. Why were those in the kitchen? I depube it. Other then why do you have pubes in your kitchen? No, why am I making peanut butter jelly in my bathroom? <laughs>
<laughs> Thank you, Jack. <laughs> and now we explain the joke. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Both Sides Theater. <laughs> that was a five piece of business. That was. Gosh, that'd be, you know, so I mean, just, that would be a great thing. Next time you bring one of these young ladies back to your... These, uh, one yeah. of these whores. <laughs> yeah. Sure, yeah. Nice, Whore. said, no, nice young ladies. And Women you, of the night. You meet, you meet them in some capacity and uh, take them back to your house. It would be hilarious if, with no explanation... <laughs> You had a, a complete table setting in your bathroom. A, a, a TV tray in the shower. Yeah. And no, no, don't say anything. And just say more wine. So, oh, when you when you get in bed and you go, would you like some salt? I don't know. What you saying. open up your bathroom mirror. It's a microwave. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Bowling out. <laughs> Hungry man dinners. <laughs> <laughs> and a hot dog in a wee restaurant. Yeah, yeah. But the, the medicine cabinet. <laughs> Nothing but food. How do you handle yeah. a hungry man? That's right. Mm. This is I just uh, pour syrup on a candy cane and brush my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, this is terrible. Uh, but and it's much other, more interesting than whatever the hell Shannon and, Sharp and doing some other, jackass no, about I'm how much money he's making. In other NFL news, United States Olympic and Paralympic Committee says it still anticipates this is may 25 american athletes being able to safely compete in tokyo in the olympics despite brand spanking new travel warnings the center for disease control and prevention uh -huh. and the state department are warning americans against all travel specifically to japan pacific <laughs> japan <laughs> Because of a surge in coronavirus cases, the twin alerts issued yesterday. <laughs> yesterday! Don't ban U.S. Don't citizens ban US it from the visiting twin the alerts. country, but they could have, could an, impact have an impact <laughs> on insurance rates <laughs> for they got twins to do it. So it's not that one twin says something and the other <laughs> says another thing. And yeah, it's not the Sklar brothers. They talk at the same time. <laughs> they factor into decisions to compete or attend the games, which are due to start in a July. So what is the coolest mean? month, I believe. I, I wasn't paying attention. It's still it. not... Yeah, you didn't miss anything. The Olympics I will beg probably... your pardon. It's a new travel ban. The American athletes might not even be there. Jap Japanese, 80% of their people don't want the Olympics to happen. You guys are... Oh, I don't know. I brushed my teeth with candy The cane. CDC <laughs> finished, finished another mug of tea and are now reading the leaves to tell us what to do. Okay. Uh, that's all that story is. And we have, uh, again, uh, the, the, <laughs> we have more CDC news coming up. This time it's about chickens. Salmonella, yeah. Um, and yeah, uh, so we'll get to that coming up. Green uh, Bay Packers quarterback Aaron Rodgers not present for the first day of OTAs. That's organized team activities yesterday. We're doing stories now about somebody who didn't show up to something. The sessions are voluntary. because <laughs> he's going to start it's hosting the Jeopardy, reigning NFL MVP. We better get some Dickless. <laughs> Rogers. I have been missing my, my wiener. <laughs> <laughs> you lost your wiener? Yeah, I checked both the bathrooms. Uh, okay. <laughs> Maybe you left it in the peanut butter. <laughs> I was just going to say. <laughs> Josh right there weighing in. Uh, that's Ace. Uh, coming up, the Ace Cosby, of course, uh, Omaha Steaks joke of the day. I'm very excited about that. Weighing in. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, there it is again. Good you job. You can't help yourself. What a, what, you're a monster. <laughs> okay. I wasn't implying anything about aces. Is that Josh, right? you oh, so there's great. Josh weighing in. Mm. You look great. Don't listen oh, to that. Oh, did I say that? Yes. Yeah. Did I say that? That was a Freud. <laughs> did was, I do that? Josh, that was a Freudian slurp is what that was. Yeah, exactly right. Uh, Freudian slurp. A Freudian slip. I like, a, I like the idea <laughs> did of Did you say Freudian slurp? Yeah, yeah, I did. I like that sounds right. like a move. Uh -huh. if, there ever, if there ever was one. Lick me like my mommy. Oh. What happened? What? What? what the hell? Who said that? <laughs> we have to f see. That's a Freudian slur. I'll say, lick me like my mommy. Okay. Where was I? Uh, I was Hang saying. On, let's take a break. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, we're back. The hell Thank is you, Bugs Bunny. Today? Oh, I gotta write. I gotta write down that we gotta get a, a one man band. <laughs> Josh is big celebration. Oh wait, 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 wait. John. You know what else you have to share with the class? What's that? On Friday, right yeah. before we left, Tom comes in and says, oh. I have a new system. This is the greatest thing ever. And he goes, did you know there's a timer on your phone? <laughs> I had no idea. I had no idea, he says. So he I has, remember you were saying, I came in and you go, listen to this. And then Ace goes, you've got to hear this. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, because during, was so uh, during the breaks, I'm constantly saying to Ace, how much time? How much time? Because I have to know if I have time to hit the head or uh, right. go, go get some tea or some coffee. Yell at whatever. me. <laughs> go correct. Uh, so wait a minute. So when the break starts, you hit your phone and you have your own personal timer as you're walking <laughs> yeah, around. Yeah. No, that, you know, what you do is... Uh, yeah, you we, ask Ace what it's going to be, and you... And go, he sets his timer now. You go to your phone, and then you oh type it in down here. He had yeah, no idea there was yeah, a timer on his phone. And then it counts down. You ready yeah, for this? Yeah, that's how can it I, works. Can wait, I go wait, in mind? Wait, <laughs> wait a minute. It counts down. Oh, my God. Well, this you just found no, no, See, no. you should get one of these because you're always late for the breaks. I did not. We come back, and Ace Tom, always has to do the time check. We which, all have which I one. I would prefer, actually. Here's the thing. Oh. Tom, we, oh. I feel like... <laughs> in my general well-being, there are certain times I'm not going to be back when the break starts. <laughs> to me, that's okay. Well, that's, right. all, that, that's all well and good, but uh, I, I think maybe we should reassign, uh, restructure the show. Yeah. So we, when we come back, uh, Ace speaks first. That way there'll be no sarcastic remark about the previous content. <laughs> as we come out of some sad, <laughs> some sad public service Ace. announcement that ends with, and then the children die. And you come back. And, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> you mean I can't come back with weird sentence fragments to no. start the show? That's no, my favorite part. When you're not paying attention. You know what? If that's what you want to do, you go ahead and do it. Oh. You have Ace be back. See what time I I, yeah. I shamble in. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. If he doesn't have to be back, why would he come back? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm not going to be back until somebody goes, where the hell is shit? He's <laughs> chicks here. Is it 7.30 already? Absolutely. A-okay with me. So you're not going to use my system? I, we all have the timers the on our phone. We kind of have timers in our heads. Well, I, mean, I can't speak for too. Christy, but I'm guessing. I mean, yeah. I got a feeling when well, it's going to be over. As soon as Eddie finishes this complicated thing he's working on, oh, God. I'm going to have Eddie install a thing where when the break starts, Ace types it in, and then it'll be showing on a big clock in the green room <laughs> and, in the, and in the men's room. Oh, you boy. know what, Tom? You can see the countdown clock uh, from the TV in the green that, room. That counts the wrong way. It counts up to six. It okay? counts to six. We have to be back here. No, you know what no, six is, right? No, we have it's to be that back. number between five and seven. <laughs> no, we have to be back here One of prior the to that on your for head. other local duties. You see. Well, you if you know about four thirty, about four. All right, Ace. Why was six afraid of seven? Oh my! God. <laughs> why? Because seven, eight, nine. <laughs> You're getting there. You're getting there. <laughs> okay, so let me get, let, let me be clear. I like Ace. Let me be clear. From now on, now on until Willie takes over and makes this a, a hip hop punk show. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to say, hi, it's the Bob and Tom show. No, blah, blah, blah. I, uh, I, uh, Hello! Now he has to take a pay cut, too. Well, no, oh, no, God, that's, quiet that's, all of a that's, a, that's it's, okay it's with not, me. It's not a cut. It's, so more, it's now, more of a money uh, transfer. I'm not going to yeah. miss uh, a couple mil. I, it's fine. <laughs> oh, as you know, as you know right now, uh, <laughs> Chick's paycheck is, uh, for some reason, uh, technically is divided in several ways. And passed, Actually, passed my, around. my last divorce uh, uh, ruling was so horrible. Uh, for some reason, I'm involved in the A-Rod J-Lo thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right. a bad lawyer. Yeah, that's a, that's some checks. a bad lawyer. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, don't you open Melinda? Melinda Gates money? I, yes, crazy. how did that yeah. happen? Mm. Well, They've some, got enough money, I said. There's some bad judges around here. But, Chick, I'm telling you, man, you want to stick around? We are going to have a seat for you on the Willie Griswold Skateboarding Rap Music Show. It's All right. Be a lot of fun. Thank yeah. you, Willie. You bet, I appreciate stick around. it. Stick around. We'll see what happens. I'd appreciate it. An emeritus. Whoever's left. <laughs> like. I'm still trying to remember why we had the T Rex bang a gong queued up here. I don't know. That's the power station. Yes. Oh, I know why. The beginning of this song does sound like instruments falling out of the truck. And and a car is trying to start at the beginning yeah, of that. It's cool. It's really cool, though. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, I think I remembered why we had uh, the other version of that up. And we do have a really cool um, guy getting killed by a dinosaur story coming up this morning. Wow. Oh, my That's God. Cool, it's sounds old news. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Is this the radio show from sometime in D.C.? No, seriously. Okay. Uh, wow. There's a head, I mean, the headline, dead guy, dinosaur, right, Christy? Don't do yeah, story missing right. man found dead. dead. Did he fall in the, in well, the dinosaur? Well, you're going to find, find out. out. All right. Yikes. For real. I think it's, that's the, that's not a. It's in Spain. It's a stegosaurus, right? It's not a. Uh, it's not a T-Rex. Not a T-Rex. Mm -mm. I need TV when I got T-Rex. Oh, one of the one of the great lines ever. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the David Bowie, thank you very much. Stegosaurus. Uh, now, um, 
All the Young Dudes. Now, Great we have, song. Uh, shut up. Uh, we, <laughs> once again, I, since Chick's not ready for sports, I'm, I, I I've got, would, I've got them lined ready. up. I got one of, one of my favorite artists is the, uh, the brilliant uh, singer-songwriter Bill Withers, who uh, had a, a, a career. That, uh, interesting enough, start, started, started as something of an older gentleman. <laughs> yeah, he did. He, oh, he didn't yeah. enter the world of music until he was a mature man. Oh, he's I, so good. Uh, had, had been in the Coast Guard, a great American in the military. He um, died a couple years ago, but uh, he was from West Virginia, and they have uh, honored him by naming a road in, by, in, in his honor. And according to this news account from the Associated Press uh, in Beckley, West Virginia, the former name of the road was Slab Fork Road, which again sounds like a tool for eating a really good steak. Yeah, or yeah. it sounds like the, the steakhouse Honey, that, itself. Uh, the name of the that, that little baby fork is uh, maybe use that for your shrimp cocktail at your fancy wine dinners. But here, now we, this we, this is your slab fork. That's your slab. Fork. Yeah, you can, uh, slab. it looks kind of like a pitchfork, but cleaner. Um, you know, I was on the I was on the radio for one night uh, uh, in Beckley, sixty two WWNR. One night, one, one night. What I happened? You got fired. Not, I did not pass the audition. Oh, oh. oh. All right. one night in Beckley. Yeah, that's the night I met Lon the Nightlighter. Oh, I'm guessing you didn't pass the audition because your sports cast was this I one. Didn't do the sports cast. I was on the radio. He was a DJ. Smart Alec. What were you introducing? I would say, hey, this is uh, Power Station. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone. No wonder oh, yeah, they didn't uh, like it. Yeah. Didn't don't, like it. Don't, don't call me on the phone. Yeah, don't call me. <laughs> is that an AM? 620 AM, huh? 62 WWNR. Wow. Good morning. I talk like this. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little irritating. You didn't pass the audition. How old no. were you? Uh, I had to be 18, 19, somewhere around. <laughs> Hi, I, uh, I'm Chas Michaels, and uh, Shut up. If, uh, if anyone out there has ever kissed a girl, call me and tell me about it. <laughs> who, who played my air check for you? So we'll, we'll come back with Chaz Michaels in sports, uh, but uh, yes, right sir. now. Once again, uh, the, the, in Beckley, West Virginia, Slab Fork Road will, uh, according to this, um, now be known as uh, Bill... Yeah, this says this says the Bill Withers Memorial Road. Cool. This says Bill Withers Memorial Highway, and I have an Associated Press story too. That's so weird. But slap for uh, slap for uh, that's more of a highway than a road. I think. They, yeah. I think. Yeah, because this said Slap Fork Road, but in any event, once again, this and they chose this road as I mentioned earlier because uh, Mr. Withers famously oh, no. pulled uh, pulled uh, over by the police uh, while while on tour, and they said, uh, "Excuse me, sir, but." Do you know why I pulled you over? And Mr. Withers said, uh, well, it very famously said the following. And I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, oh, oh, Okay, so that's good. I, but why? Why did I pull you over? Do you know why? I understand that you know. Do you know why I pulled you over? Sir, you're clearly on cocaine. <laughs> How many? How many nose? Did you guys know? How many, no how many nose? Did you count the nose? 26. Is that true? Yeah. One wow. for every letter. Boy, that's a handy fact. That'll get you the chicks. Oh, it gets me. Didn't we have to learn uh, how many dun, 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 was in Barracuda? I think there's five or something like that before the song ends. Dun, 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 dun. Remember that? Yeah, I did. Yeah, so you could hit the next song. Yeah, so you hit the next song. But so it was tight. Stone Age, we had tight. To push oh, I never had to do that. I would be incapable of doing that properly. <laughs> no one. <laughs> no one. You had to do that in Beckley. Not even your son. No one likes you. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. Okay. Barracuda. When we come.